Because 
We serve a great and amazing God. Amen. Can we, can we hear an amen tonight? The God that we serve in the chorus there, there's titles mentioned in that chorus that demand our, you might say, our honor, even if they weren't good. Father, Savior, Redeemer, King, all those positions, if somebody saves your life, you kind of owe some kind of respect to them, don't you? If somebody creates you, creator, and uh, so all those things, hopefully you love your father, but even if you don't feel like you have a good father, there's some kind of respect that goes with the position of that. And God is an awesome, magnificent God who is in control of everything. He created everything, and he's sovereign. So just that in itself demands our praise and our worship. But in, on top of all that, God is so good, and God is so gracious and great, and we are just here to praise him tonight. And this is my family. Actually, let's have a couple of the grandkids come up too. <laughs> no, I didn't get that old since you saw us last, but I have two more here, Bryson and Darian. Could you come on up? Uh, maybe I'll just quickly introduce them, and then we'll sing a couple songs with the uh, younger ones here but I can't believe how quick they grow up. This is Bryson, if you can find a mic there. Bryson, you are six, right? Darian is turning 11 this week. And then we have Jacob, who's turning 12. No, he's actually 15. And uh, Chrissy just got her license, she's 16. And then Whitney here is 21. Can't believe she turned 20 a year ago, and I thought, man, I've been doing this father thing for 20 years now. I can't believe that. Now she's an official adult. So, But this guy over here is uh, 19. His name's Guy, but he's getting married in January. And I can't believe, you know, when I was 19, I just, I just got potty trained. No, it was... Uh, <laughs> when I was 19, I got married at 19 as well, but I was a whole lot older when I was... And I couldn't figure out, I can't figure out what's going on, but I think it has to do with, because I was born at such an early age that I seemed older. But that went over your heads. So. And this is my lovely wife, uh, Renita. And so we enjoy singing, but we don't sing a whole lot together as a family because of, well, I'm not sure what all, but it's really hard. I found out we've been, we were practicing for this last year and then it got canceled due to COVID. And it's really hard to get schedules to mesh when you get teenagers in the household and just always something coming up but we are here to worship and praise the Lord in spite of our um, flaws and we hope you can worship with us this next song is called all these things it's a song that I wrote a few years ago in uh, thinking about what Jesus said seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you we have so many blessings we're coming up on Thanksgiving and uh, we just want to praise God for those. Song more about his goodness. Lord, my heart is longing for all your kingdom has in store, seeking heaven's treasures more than anything. But when I stop and look around at all these blessings showered down lord your faithfulness abounds in all these things all these things, all these things added unto me when i seek your kingdom lord all these things all these things come in my way that i never even asked you for i set my affection on things above there's nothing i need with really your sweet love but i just want to praise you lord for all these all these things all these things i don't deserve and so much more has been reserved as i daily choose to serve you as my king i live in a house that i did not build drink the well i ever do feast from a storehouse ever filled with all these things all these things all these things added unto me when i seek your kingdom lord all these things all these things come in my way that i never even asked you for i've set my affection on things above there's nothing i need for your sweet love but i just 
There's a song that the uh, younger boys are going to sing for you called Dream Small. And the first time I heard this song was a Sunday morning after a Saturday where my neighbor with special needs asked me to come and change strings on her guitar. And I had done that before and she tore one and she just likes to bang around on it a little bit, I think. And I thought, man, I just really don't have time for this. But I, I went back there and, and they always like if I play them a song or something. And, and I, I heard this song the next morning, and it really kind of convicted me that, you know what, sometimes we think these little things don't matter. But to you who may, might be staying with an elderly person or a parent or taking care of them or any little random small acts of kindness, they're not small. And this song says, dream small.
we serve a faithful God, and this song, you know, the, the word over, or the word again, is one thing that I love those words in reference when we think about our God and how it's over and over again. Sometimes we need, we need God's mercy, even. We fail so many times, and over and over we need revival, we need renewal, we need, we need strength, and we ask over and over again, but God is faithful to give us what we need, and this song simply says over and over. I stood on the bank of a wide raging river, trusting that I'd get across. And I've made my way through some valleys and deserts Believing I'd never get lost I stood at the foot of what felt like Mount Everest Knowing I'd have the strength for the climb But through every trial, each test of temptation One thing is sure every time over and over, again and again, God is faithful. Over and over, again and again, through it all, He's made me able to stand and survive, to come through alive when it sure looked like God couldn't win. Jesus is with I'll claim the victory over and over again. Well, you ask me why I have no hesitation. God does what he says he will do. Well, I'd simply say every battle has taught me There's nothing he won't help me through So why should I dwell on the hardships and struggles When I look just beyond them I see The way this will end is with great celebration And deep in my heart I believe over and over, again and again, God is faithful. Over and over, again and again, through it all, He's made me able to stand and survive, to come through alive when it sure looked like I could win. Jesus is with so I'll claim the victory over and over again To stand and survive, to come through alive When it sure looked like God could win But Jesus is with me, so I'll claim the victory In the book of Titus, it says, In the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time. God has promised eternal life. You know, we're here as believers, as Christians, seeking something that we can't see. We seek a better country. We're in a world that's full of uncertainty, and we don't know what's right or left sometimes. But there was a song I wrote several years ago that hopefully you can catch some of the meaning of this, but I was thinking about Abraham, how in Hebrews it says he's, he seeks a far off country, a home by faith he left and obtained a promise that he could not see. 
And then you think about Esau and his penalty for what he did. He had to wander aimlessly as a vagabond. And there's a lot of similarities. We're strangers in this world. So the first verse talks about some of the similarities of Abraham and Esau, but there's a lot of quite differences as well. And the second verse talks about that. I'm a pilgrim now. I traveled a weary road and I still do. Never did quite fit in and that's still true. I'm still on foreign land, but so much has changed. I was an exile, but I've got a new name. I'm a pilgrim now, the straight and narrow way I found. Driven no more by fear, hope has me bound. I left that life I lived no longer a fugitive. Oh, I'm still a stranger here, but I'm a Seeking instead from watching my back to looking ahead. No longer a vagabond, I'm passing through. I'm no more on the run, I'm on the move. I'm a pilgrim now, the straight and narrow way I found, driven no more by fear. I'm still a stranger here, but I'm a, I'm a pilgrim now. I'm a pilgrim now, the straight and narrow way I found. Driven no more by fear, hope has me bound. I left that life I lived, no longer a fugitive. Oh, I'm still a stranger here, but I'm a pilgrim now. I'm still a stranger here, but I'm a pilgrim now. Pilgrim now. I'm a pilgrim now, the straight and narrow way I found. Driven no more by fear, hope has me bound. I left that life I lived, no longer a fugitive. Oh, I'm still a stranger here, but I'm a pilgrim. I think I'd like to sing a couple songs around the piano, if you call this electronic thing a piano. One of the promises I feel like that has become dearer to me the older I get, and I don't like for um, songs about heaven to be old people's songs. Some of us, we don't know when our time has come, but the promise of eternal life that we just read about in Titus there is something that has become more dear to me as I get older. And matter of fact, we were practicing this next song called Oh, What a Promise last year before this event was canceled. And I remember practicing the piano there with my wife and I started tearing up because I knew that my uncle was soon to pass on from glioblastoma this time last year, uh, cancer of the brain. But I didn't know that this past April, the next spring, my, one of my, somebody that became one of my best friends in the past seven years would also pass away from glioblastoma after a, a two month battle. My co-pastor and mentor and friend, Richard Newswanger, also went home to be with Jesus. And today is Richard's first birthday in heaven. Isn't that awesome? Uh, in our, our men's WhatsApp group at church, just before the program, they were texting some things. Happy birthday, Richard. I bet this is the best birthday you've ever had. So I'm really happy for Richard, but we still grieve here. But there is a promise in Richard's last couple weeks of life, and as I would stop to 
visit him, there was only one way I knew to leave him every time was, I'll see you later, Richard. I don't know when, and I don't know exactly where, if it'll be this side or that side, but I'll see you later. What a promise we have as Christians that we'll meet again someday. to meet our loved ones who go before us, but when it's our time to go, he has promised that he'll hold our hand. Let's go right into that song. He'll hold our, my hand. Through the lifeboat that will be me. 
we have to meet again someday. Are we seeking a country? I just want to encourage us all to be more, a little more homesick for that country. Sometimes we hang on so, so hard to where we are, but do we ever really think about what is waiting us? And I know a lot of we've come through a rough year with a lot of, maybe there was a lot of sickness in your family. I've actually encountered a lot of other sickness other than COVID this year, but maybe COVID has affected people here and different things. We live in, a, in uncertain times in an uncertain world, but there's one thing that I know is certain, and that is the finished work of Christ on the cross. And that's not gonna change, and that's what I'm clinging to. And sometimes I say I have all my eggs in one basket. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I'm, I'm actually very sure that I'm not. All my hope is in Jesus, amen? And all my eggs are in one basket. I'm living or dying with Jesus. And when time has surrendered and earth is no more, I will cling to the old rugged cross. And we're going to leave you with this song tonight. I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary. Slay. 